What's up guys? Boule do Yanmoto. I discovered a new brand in Indonesia and I would even say a new Balinese motorcycle because this bike is uh, produced in Bali, uh, Indonesia. I will explain where from where this bike is coming from and what are the specs uh, of this uh, motorcycle. You can see it right now next to my uh, Kawasaki Versys. So it gives you an idea of the, of the size of the body uh, of that bike. For people who love motorcycle, they will realize that the engine looks familiar. This is uh, a twin cylinder 500cc. I mean exactly 471 uh, cc motorcycle and it looked like the Honda CB500X because it's exactly the same engine 471 cc. There is a lot of controversy about this engine. We don't know if Honda asked uh, the manufacturer to build this engine for Honda or if the manufacturer copy and make made a clone of the Honda engine. Um, but we will see that in detail later on. But for now, let's talk about that bike. So this bike is called the Hunter Maverick 500cc. We're going to have a look at the dashboard. So you have a part that is analog for the RPM. And then uh, you have the gas gauge, the gear indicator, the time, the average consumption, the speedometer, the range, the auto, where you can switch trip auto. In here you have the ele elevation, you have two modes of uh, ECU. You can switch uh, either to safe mode or sport mode. In here you have the temperature of uh, the water. Then also you can choose to switch off your ABS. So you can choose to switch off your rear, to switch off completely or to put it back on. Very interesting. You also have two interesting points. You have a, a nice 12 volt socket. So this is important because if you need like to have an electric pump for your tire and everything, you need to have this kind of plug or you can put the adapter to put USB or you have directly the USB port in here to charge your phone or your GPS. So let's start this engine. You have some LED lights working on. A word about the material, this bike either come with magnesium wheel or it can come also with spoke wheel. It's a choice. You can make your choice spoke and spoke or magnesium with uh, tubeless tires. The front fork and the rear suspension are Kayaba. It's KYB uh, front fork and rear suspension. The injection is made by Bosch. The braking, braking system is made by Nissin and the uh, ABS by Bosch as well. Let's go for a ride. So this is the Hunter factory in Bali. So yeah, to talk about this engine, we don't know if Honda uh, was requesting Longchin, Chinese manufacturer, to uh, produce the, the parallel twin engine, or uh, if it's just a copy and a clone of the of the Honda uh, CB500X. But it has the same characteristic of the of the CB500X, like very good torque at low RPM. It's a very linear power, it's just like boom, it's very linear, just like the CB500. The riding position, I like it because your the bar, the handlebar is 
quite wide so it gives you a, a good position for handling the bike What is nice also is that uh, it's a big bike. I mean, it's you feel the, the body of that bike is quite big. And the tank is quite narrow. So for the standing position, you can grab the tank really well. And you don't need a bar razor because your position uh, is directly uh, good. I'm 180 centimeter for 83 kilo. And I feel at home on that bike. Otherwise, the sitting position is quite low and very relaxed. So it will be very good for all kind of rider. Especially if you are under 170, 160. Then you will be able to ride it. It's not too high. Gearbox is very smooth. So it really feels like a Honda. <laughs> So I like to do this test in this road because it's very steep. Let's see if I can stay in second gear. Oh yeah! I can stay in second gear. Which is for example with my, my Kawasaki Versys, I cannot stay in second gear. I have to put the first in this, uh, this hill. In terms of vibration, it's exactly like the CB500X. This twin cylinder has a tendency to have some vibrations that you can feel a little bit in the handlebar and in here uh, you feel it uh, in the condom of the tank, you know, because this is not, a, this is not a directly the, the tank, this is just a, what we call a condom, uh, which is a, a cover. So that's where you have some vibration, a bit in the handlebar and a bit in the in the tank. But you could work it out with more rubber seal to avoid to have too much vibration. Mm. What I like also about this bike is uh, the fact that you have two front disc brakes, where the Honda CB500 have only one. So in terms of braking system, She bites much more. Woo! See that? So hopefully I have uh, <laughs> I have ABS on it. Because I could feel that the, the rear wheel was uh, <laughs> lifting. Could make a stoppy with that bike. Suspension are really really good. Eh? It's on the soft side. But it's really, really nice. I mean, it's really absorbed. Uh, Kayaba do a, a good job on the suspension. And vetted fork in, fr in, uh, in the front. I really like the foot peg as well. They are very comfy. Very large and with some rubber on the top. Because as an adventure bike, you will spend a lot of time standing up on it. And that's why I really like the, the riding position standing up on this bike. Very natural. Tuck, 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 tuck. Still in second gear. Very good torque, yeah. I cannot do that with my bike. Like stay in second like that and not touching anything, no no accelerator, nothing. I cannot do that with my bike. She's she's not doing it. And she's not stalling, look at that. She's not easy to stall, I like it. Yeah, I feel very confident with that bike. Because she's light, she's just like as light as my as my Versys two fifty. So it feels very easy. Yeah, low seats, low weight, make it more easy to maneuver.
So here we are in beautiful Geweka. This is the Garuda Vishnu Kenchana statue, the new uh, icon of Bali, like the Eiffel Tower or the Sydney Opera or the Statue of Liberty. Bali has its Garuda Vishnu Kenchana. So this bike is produced in here, in Bali, assembled in here. And that's the reason why actually they could get that price. It's because uh, with the rule, and you can see the video on uh, why the motorcycles are so expensive in Indonesia, if you complete import a, a motorcycle, so you have to pay the import tax, and over 250cc you have to pay the luxury tax. So if you just import the bike, for, let's say from Thailand, like the CB500X, then in that case you will get a lot of taxes. So that's the reason why the CB500X is so expensive, where the Hunter Maverick is so cheap because she's produced in here. Even if the, the spare part and the engine and everything is coming from Longshin, from China. But then as it's assembled, branded and everything built up here, then it's cheaper, you will get less taxes. So that's why it's make, it makes really a good deal. So let's continue that ride. So you are going to ask me, okay Stefan, this is the same engine like the CB500X, 471 cc, 49 horsepower, where the Honda develop 47. Huh? How come? I guess it's because they use a different ECU. We get a central stand. For example, the Honda CB500X doesn't have a central stand. So you also have a double disc up front, where the CB has only one. You have a skid plate, where this is optional, also on the, on the CB. You have the rack. I mean, you have the top rack. The box doesn't come with a bike. It can come with a bike for an extra 8 million rupiah which is quite cheap because this is aluminium and it's very, very light and very good quality. You can see that it's waterproof and they also powder it. So you can put your, your helmet inside. Very good seal for waterproofing. Hop. As you can see, I put all my stuff, my water, my uh, rain jacket and it's also protected as you can see so it doesn't vibrate too much so for an extra 8 million you get the box and everything but otherwise the bike come also standard with a crash bar so compared to a honda cb500x it's cheaper same engine like i said the same 471 cc engine but here developing more uh, more power and more torque for a lighter weight. This is some extra lamp that uh, were put uh, on, the, on the bike. Very good foot peg, as you can see. You can take off the rubber if you want, but then you can keep it for vibration purpose. Same thing for the passenger. You have the rubberized uh, foot peg for the pillion. A two uh, seat configuration. Very comfortable and it exists in two sizes. You have the small version and the big version. So it can adapt also to your riding size. You also, if you take the option to get the boxes, you also get the nice little padding for the passenger. And I really love that, that you can carry the box. It's easy to release and you can key also that part, which make it very, very secure. But as you can see, it's very easy to take off and it weights really nothing. And a very complete dashboard, like we saw at the beginning of that video. 
The only reproach that I will make, you have also the handguard, but they come in plastic. But it's a nice attention, as I say, if you break it, you, anyway, you will put some backbuster if you want to do some serious uh, off-roading. But you have a very good base to start adventure. And honestly, the price is making a huge difference for that bike. Because, I mean, 119 million for 500cc, 49 horsepower, 178 kilo. I mean, oh, that could be the best adventure motorcycle for Indonesian market. Because I just finished the video, you saw it uh, maybe, I will put the link in the description of the 12 model of adventure touring motorcycle for Indonesia. But this is the 13th one, the 13th. And maybe that's the lucky number in that case, because I guess this is, in my opinion, the best choice right now that you can get in Indonesia. 119 million for a 500cc bike that is lightweight, that you can bring off-road, that has a very good configuration of tank, so it's not too big, so you can really maneuver it. And it's really something that is very interesting. I will still modify it a little bit. There is still some flows. Like for example, just like the CB500, you have the oil filter that is exposed. exposed. But as you already have the, the skid plate, it will be easy to cover that part. Very easy to cover that part. If we talk about the tank also, the tank is a 20 liter tank and uh, I really like the finishing of it. I mean, this is something simple, you know, like it's something that I critique last time on the Benini. I mean, this is simple to do a hatch that is attached, right? I mean, it's not something complicated, but they thought about it. Very good. And also consumption wise, she's given for 25 km per liter. And if you ride in the safe mode, you can even go to 27 km per liter quite crazy consumption as well. So let me know guys in the comment section what do you think about this motorcycle? 178 kg for 49 horsepower, 45 newton meter of torque. Do you think this is right now the best adventure motorcycle that we can find in Indonesia? Let me know in the comments and see you soon for other adventure. And I'm sure with other adventure with this bike, the Hunter Maverick 500cc production in Bali, Indonesia. See you guys. Bye-bye.